Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to my channel Think Big Learn Smart and today I am back with another video and in this lecture we are going to talk about the concept of security in international relations and we will discuss about security and we will try to understand about security in terms of three famous school of thoughts in international relations and these are realism, uh, liberalism and constructivism so without further ado let's start our today's lecture so with security the very first question that arises in our mind is about what is security so if I talk about a traditional definition of security uh, security is usually associated with uh, the threat to survival or a security means the absence of threats so it's just an objective definition of security but it is the most important concept of in international relations and it has been uh, quite a main focus of IR as a result of uh, the world wars and an urgent need to stop such horrific events from happening again it is also the most contested concept in IR and there is a f fair reason behind that because there is no broad consensus among famous IR thinkers and political scientists and scholars regarding the definition of security so it is a quite a difficult concept and uh, we will discuss about this in the next slides but let's move on with our slide right now so it, it's, it's the most important concept and why is it the most important concept it is important because it pertains with the safety of state and its citizens so it is basically directly connected with the lives of people with the lives of individual there is a universalized fixed static definition of a term is unhelpful uh, to completely grasp the idea of security and inconsistent with how some groups understand security and we will discuss about it in our latest slides so the meaning of security has been broadened right now uh, in the 21st century to include political economy political economic societal environmental and military aspects and we will also discuss that what was the traditional concept of security in the past and how it has changed with the time and what is the concept of security right now so let's move on so why security is a contested concept before moving on any further i would highly recommend you to read the article of arnold wolfers that he wrote in 1952 during the height of cold war and the article was named as the national security as an ambiguous symbol I would highly recommend you to read that article because in that article he spoke about the concept of security and he comparatively analyzed the concept of security uh, among different school of thoughts and then he gave his own opinion about uh, what it really is a security and it was a landmark article I will provide the link of this article in the description box below so now let's move on with our slide right now so why it's such a contested concept uh, why there is no such broad consensus among the political scientists and IR thinkers uh, security is a powerful political tool and how it's a powerful political tool it basically is claiming attention for priority items in competition for government attention so you can understand that the one whose theory is accepted have the power and authority uh, to rule the world so there is a war going on in the thinking arena so it is an understandable as why respective groups would want their security to be prioritized security is who gets what and how so what or who is being protected from threats is potentially enabling in terms of ascribing level of priority and importance to it or in terms of enabling particular logics of response so it is a main catalyst that is being going on behind the politics for example a theoretical approach like security 
like structural realism can become so dominant to the extent that it becomes established and instit institutionalized as the accepted basis uh, for any state to operate and it happened in the, the cold war era that this realism was in a such a, a dominant position that every state was pursuing it and what happened after that everyone was in the competition of uh, creating a weaponized world so you can look at from this that that the dominant concept created such an environment and it changes changed the perspective of the whole states and their main goals in protecting themselves so so now you can understand that how a particular definition of security really changes the thought process of the world and an, an individual behind the state acting on behalf of a particular group so it basically if any theory becomes dominant then it will basically serve the purpose of those creating it so now you can say from that that no theoretical approach wants another to become dominant in this respect so every theory wants to be understood and there is a purpose in every theory you have to know that so that's why it's such an a contested concept how security concept can be understood how we can completely grasp uh, the idea of security before completely understanding about security concept we have to know about the answers of these following questions and these questions are that uh, what is security either it's a goal that is to be pursued or it's a condition or a perception that someone or someone either a person or an individual feels or uh, it's a consequence of measures taken to protect people values ideas territory and resources how we can assess security what's the bar of assessing security is it synonymous with the survival of a state or an individual or what is needed to be secured what is the object that is being secured in this particular time frame uh, what does it mean to be secured how a state can know that it is uh, secured and how is a security achieved there are also the many other questions regarding this that uh, that are needed to be specified before completely gaining about the idea of security security for whom whom is secured right now security for which values either they are economic welfare liberty territorial integrity or the environmental conservation what are the values that are being saved before understanding completely the concept of security so these questions are needed to be understood and to be grasped before completely understanding a theory or the concept of security so now we will look at the concept of security from uh, the various school of thoughts and uh, what is their perspective about the concept of security so now we are going to talk about the concept of security according to the realist thinkers uh, so the main premise of the realist argument is that it is basically state centric state holds the main position in their world view of the international political arena and it focuses basically on the military aspects of security so the military capability holds a prime importance in the security concept of realism uh, it is the military might of a certain state that makes it the great in uh, the international political world and it's what makes the other states deter and not attack that particular state it also creates a balance of power in a system and as we know from the classical principles of uh, Hans de Morgenthau that the pursuit of power is basically rooted in the human nature and anarchy holds a privileged position in the realist thinking patterns so there is no government in this world and everyone is on their own they have to help themselves in order to survive in this world so there is a desire for absolute power everyone is pursuing power uh, to keep itself secure from the external threats 
so there is distrust and the competition for power going on behind the walls so the main concept of security that arises from here is that security here comes from the mitigation of threats the more the external threats are being mitigated and uh, cooped up the more a country feels secure according to the realist approach the concept this concept peaked in the cold war era as it happened and it revolving around, it revolved around the control threats or use of force as we know that in the cold war era uh, the both usa and ussr uh, were fighting uh, for the military capability they were increasing uh, their military capability and they were working on the realist approach it was such a concept that was imbibed in the states that they were basically focusing on this concept and they were completely focused on their military aspects of security so that's the concept of security according uh, to realism and there are various changes that have happened throughout the pe throughout this period in the history uh, the realism has changed and now from the classical realism to the structural realism to the neo realism that is the new phase of realism right now uh, but the main premise has always been same uh, and the security concept according to realist school of thought is the one external one their security is against the external threats we can deduce from the basic premise of realist thinking now let's move on to the other school of thoughts now let's discuss liberalism's approach towards security and let's take out the concept of security from uh, the liberalistic approach so since 18th century liberalism has extremely influenced the studies on international politics as we saw that uh, after the first world war the league of nations uh, was formed and after the second world war although the liberalism uh, school of thought was completely shattered by its predictions but uh, it was it survived that event so, so the main premise of liberalism is that it sees a relationship among states as potential realm of progress and purpose riv change state ought to be constrained from acting in ways that undermine freedom so uh, the liberalism got uh, some new changes in it and uh, it is still optimistic about uh, the peaceful nature of states and how they can create uh, a peaceful environment if they coordinate and interdepend on on each other states can lead to trust in each other in certain conditions so there should be conditions that should be promoted so that the peaceful environment can be promoted in that kind of environment so the concept of security according to liberalist approach is that states can choose over time to create and sustain international conditions under which they will be more or less secure focus on increasing security while international law and organization continued as well so the liberalist school of thought is an optimistic school of thought it believes in the peaceful mindset of the states and it says that if rightful environment is created states can cooperate and make a sustainable environment for the peace and for the security of states as well as of its citizens so the liberalist school of thought about security is like that one it promotes the international law it uh, promotes the organizations and institutions to be created uh, the treaties to be formed uh, for the peaceful coexistence of states so that's the real liberalism approach towards security now let's discuss constructivism approach towards security so the main premise of constructivism is that uh, the concept of security uh, among states is uh, defined by their identities in relationship to other states and it is a, a concept that is being constructed at a particular time among the international political states and the territoriality security enemy and threat are constructed by practices of agents so the whole concept of security is being constructed and that was also the main premise of arnold wolfers remember the article that i suggested uh, in the starting of this video that the national security as an ambiguous symbol in 
it as well the main result that Arnold Wolfer came towards was of that the security concept is a constructive concept according to Wolfer national characteristics preferences and prejudices shape overall understanding out of concept of security so the lack of threat and fear against values of nation each state interprets it differently and state defines its condition for security for itself and that that's what it makes itself a constructivist concept security is uh, constructed in a particular time by the states and it is being promoted and then it becomes a dominant thought pattern among states and uh, then it is being followed by all uh, the other states all the periphery states so the security concept in constructivism is that security and other concepts as institutions differ in different situations they do not have timeless or unconditional meanings actors define them on the basis of new situations while their practices shape their meaning so now this paragraph will give you a little bit of understanding about the constructivist approach of security for example they define the institutions of enemy and friends it creates the definition of who is a friend at a particular time and who is enemy at a particular time such as military advances of British have different meanings from the military advance of Cuba for, for the United States. So there is a difference between these two things. So that's the constructivism approach towards security. In conclusion, we can safely say that although different meanings have been attributed to the concept of security, there has been a little bit of consensus in the concept of security so the security is basically a lack of threat that has been emphasized as a factor that causes elimination of feeling of fear uh, that's uh, the main gist among all the various school of thoughts but the way they interpret the lack of fear makes them different and creates an ambiguous term security and what does it mean for different IR thinkers and different theories? So that was all for today. Thank you very much for your time and take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.